So farming consists a lot of fixing broken things, broken balers, broken tractors. We do a lot of work, but you do a lot of fixing broken things. And I guess Hudson's playground really isn't any different. So we just got done playing with all of our kids stuff, our tractors, some of the equipment. Ah, and today's gonna be another fixing stuff day cause we've been breaking a lot of things. So let's go take a look at what we need to fix today. So we have two problems today we need to address. One is one of the kids tractors. The other one is a mower. And the mower kind of got a uh, kind of got torn apart. We got a lot of electrical stuff to take care of today, but I really want to get this tractor fixed. Let me show you. So the tractor might look pretty normal sitting there, but you can kind of see the tires are starting to fall out words like that. And it's even worse when the kids are sitting on it. So I want to try and find a way to straighten those up the best we can because we have another tractor right there in that box, but I don't want to break into that one yet because I know once we do, before long, it'll look like this. So I want to get as much use out of this one as we can before we tear up another one. So we're going to go mudding and stuff soon. So I want to try and use these and not ruin the brand new one. So also you might notice while this is on here, that's wiring and that's the wiring for our mower. There's our mower. It's not attached to it. Not good. And the reason for that is when Holly was driving this mower, as you'll see in a Hudson's Playground video coming up soon, the mower fell off the back of the tractor and ripped all the wires off of it and the switch. So I want to find, the goal today is to fix this tractor and find a good way to attach the mowers to the tractor and a good way to have the wire real sturdy or maybe like a safety chain like you put on a real trailer. So if it does happen again or it falls off or anything like that, it doesn't rip all of our wiring up because that's kind of a disaster. So I want to get that done today, but first I want to start on this tractor, see if we can get the tires more normal. They're, they're not normal. So we got the tractor blocked up and after looking at it, I thought, I think maybe the older ones had this. They had a metal rod that ran all the way across, but this one doesn't, it's actually just plastic all the way through. Oh, I think I see the problem. You see that? That's the crack that's probably making these wheels separate. I didn't notice that until right now. Look at that thing. I think that's it, that's the cause. So here's what we'll do. Let's get a strap and tie both these wheels together, compress them and see if we can find a way to seal that crack. Cause I think that's the problem. Let's try and get that done. And then I wanna get the wiring done on the mower cause I wanna do some more mowing with the kids. They loved it. I also had fun. So we gotta fix that bad boy over there. But first, that crack looks terrible. So I've used my brain a little bit and there's not really an easy way to do this, but I think I'm gonna get this little piece of wood, kind of slide it under here and then run a screw through this side and this side to try and help keep it closed, put all of it on this piece of wood because it slides in perfectly and it should, you can kind of see the crack there, I don't know if you can, but I have it compressed together with this rope to where it should be and hopefully that works so we can keep this tractor for as long as we can. So we got the rope off. It was kind of hard to get some screws in there. I got the sturdiest piece of wood I could fit in there. It kind of looks like junk, I'm not gonna lie but I think it's a good band-aid. It'll keep the tractor going a little longer and it definitely improved the wheels. Now they look, here, let's do this. To where it looks how it should. And look how much better that looks now. Now it looks 10 times better. And it's gonna make this thing last longer. It's pretty bulky too, but it doesn't affect the ground clearance. As you can see, it's just about the same. So it works out pretty good. So I probably could have got something that looked a little better from under the tractor, but I will say it looks way better now and it's obviously gonna work now. Will that last forever? Probably not, but that's okay because this tractor is kind of on its last leg regardless. It's been ran over by a front end loader. It's probably been in mudding, I don't know, a thousand times. This is one of the first tractors we had, so it was pretty worn out, but that's okay. Like I said, we've got the race tractor, we've got that new front end loader one, and then we got a new one in a box that I don't wanna open yet. So we'll get a few more videos out of this thing for sure. Now, let's fix that mower, make it better. Let's try and improve on the mower too. We improved the tractor today. Now let's try and improve the mower and then we'll go from there. So the reason this thing failed is because, let me show you. So the way we attach this mower right here to our kids tractor was on that one is we run zippy ties or let me go back, is we're supposed to attach these two spots right here that have two holes cut out that attach to the two wings on the back of the tractor right here and right here. So it's on me, it was my fault. We used zippy ties because I was in a hurry. So I ran two zippy ties to the back of the tractor. Lo and behold, it did not hold. They ended up breaking. 
Probably because metal and zippy ties don't go very good together. I think Holly turned and then they probably just sheared both of them off. So then this fell off, pulled all the wiring off of the back of the tractor, made a huge mess. That's on me, but today we fixed that. We fixed the wiring and then from here on out, we will not use zippy tie to connect this to the back of the tractor. We will use something else. I'll find something that's, the reason I use zippy ties is because they're just so easy. Just bzz, done and you're good to go. But uh, we'll find something that's more sturdy that it's gonna hold better. And that still makes it fairly easy to take on and off. But for today, let's get the wiring fixed. It pulled it from the switch, pulled it all the way off and then it broke it um, down here too. Okay, so we've got it rewired. Did I rewire it correctly? We did, we're good. So the mower is now fixed, ready to rock. And this tractor, I'm honestly, I'm kind of mad I didn't notice that to begin with. The crack on the bottom, because look how much better this thing looks now. It actually looks like it wasn't ran over by a front end loader. I, I'm literally shocked. It looks so much better now. It looks normal, it looks straight. The seat's a little jacked up, but man, we salvaged this thing pretty good. I mean, I'm impressed. Hudson's gonna love it too, because he said it looked funny last time, but now it looks normal. So we've gotten kids' mowers fixed. We got their tractor fixed. We got one with the front end loader. We got a race tractor. What is needed next for Hudson's Playground? Love reading y'all's comments. Go to the Instagram, leave a message there. That's usually the best way to contact me is it's just full, so much easier for me to check rather than YouTube comments and I can't respond to you. So Instagram is so much easier. Just message me on Instagram, DM me, whatever. I try and do my best to respond to everybody. So please go on there. We've gotten two mowers built. We need to build one of those. It is about to be hay season, which means a lot of baling hay, a lot of cutting hay. So the kids want to join in. They've already got the cutters. Now they need something to rake up the hay with and then bell it. So soon we'll be doing that. Thanks for watching.